Hello, uh, this is Ming. Today I'm going to show you how to join four tables without coding. And the data will be displayed over a grid view control. So let's get started. So I'm going to create a new website. And then uh, over the web location, I'm going to store the application uh, over my local drive and let me call it uh, join uh, four tables and I'm going to create an empty website click OK and since I'm going to use uh, the attached uh, database method so I'm going to create a directory called app underscore data under the root of my web application okay so you can see from the solution explore okay i have highlighted the uh, root directory of my application already and then let me right click the mouse button so from the pop-up menu i'm going to go down to select add and then one more time yeah let me do it again one more time then i'm going to select add ASP.NET folder and since there are many pre-built uh, folders over there the one I need will be the app underscore data there you go so the new uh, subdirectory or subfolder has been created then according to uh, ASP.NET's convention uh, you would like to put the database under this uh, subdirectory so there's what I'm going to do right now. So let me right click the mouse button and select add and then add the existing item. And I'm going to navigate to my uh, CS homework directory since I put the uh, North Wind uh, database over there. It is an SQL database. So let me select the North Wind dot uh, mdf uh, sql database click add there you go so you can see the database have been added to the app underscore subfolder so now i'm going to create a web form so i have to select the root directory first okay so once it's selected then i can right click the mouse button and from the pop-up menu let me pick add and then add a new item since this is a web form so it is a new item so let me select web form and I'm going to use a default name so I'm not going to change it so let, let's just uh, call it uh, default.aspx click add there you go so it put me in the SP uh, sorry it put me in the uh, uh, HTML uh, markup a view but uh, I'm going to make my job easier and I prefer to work things out on the design view so over the tab over here okay I'm going to select design view tab there you go and since I'm going to uh, display the data over a grid view control so over my left hand side under the toolbox I'm going to pick the data category so right now the standard uh, category is open so let me close it and then open the data category and I'm going to drag and drop an instance of the grid view uh, control and then put it over my uh, web form there you go and then the uh, smart uh, grid view task panel or dialog box pop up so I'm going to config my data source okay so let me click the drop down menu and pick new data source and since it's in uh, SQL database so I'm going to select SQL database type and select OK and then I'm going to uh, make config the uh, path and and the name of the database so let me click the drop down menu first okay there you go okay so there is one available database 
uh, over there which is uh, the one I just added a uh, moment ago and then uh, if I click the connection string okay then you can see okay the information over here indicate that uh, the database is stored over my uh, local machine and then the SQL uh, database server is okay, the uh, light uh, weight version uh, 11 SQL uh, database and the method okay, I use the path okay, let me put, put take it back okay, the path to my database okay, uh, is the uh, 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 direct data directory okay, which will be uh, under the uh, root directory and then the subfolder name app underscore data and then this is the name of my database and then for the uh, users uh, uh, credential okay then I will use the current users uh, login current login users credential to do it okay and then let me click next and uh, it will add uh, an entry in the web.config file is fine with me so let me click next so it's connecting to the database and try to uh, populate all the uh, table names and also uh, those uh, 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 data view okay, in this uh, drop down uh, list okay so let me show you okay so you can see there are a lot of tables okay, and uh, uh, different views okay, or maybe a uh, store the procedure names in there but uh, uh, if I pick one of the table over here okay, then it means that okay, I want to config only uh, one table but then I don't want to do that I want to join four tables so I'm going to pick specify a custom SQL statement or store the procedure so let me put let me select the uh, radio button on the top and then click next okay. and then I'm going to use the uh, query builder so click the button query builder yeah there you go so the add table dialog box pop up and ask me what tables I'm going to use so I'm going to use uh, the uh, customers table click add I will also need uh, orders table and I will also need order details table and also one more it will be the uh, products table okay click add one more time and that's, that's all just four tables so let me close it and very nicely okay, this query builder okay, has uh, built up all the uh, relationship okay, among uh, the tables I have selected okay, so let me uh, move this one down a little bit so I can show you all the tables okay, all the four tables give me a minute so let me move those uh, pictures up okay a little bit there you go so you see I have customers table orders table order details table and product uh, products table so soon okay, the fields I want to display on the grid view control will be uh, customer ID and then a company name and then uh, let's say uh, uh, order date and then uh, unit price okay. and of course I mean uh, product name otherwise you don't know what uh, products okay, you have ordered so yeah you can see uh, when I uh, pick those uh, fields from variety of, from those uh, four tables uh, very nicely this software has built up okay, all the inner join uh, commands for me yeah and then uh, I really need to uh, I really don't need to write any code at all okay so just okay, uh, uh, choose uh, whatever fields I want to use and then let me Okay, uh, if you want to, uh, let me uh, I try to execute the query so I can see okay, some results first. Some results first, yeah. Okay. So it's executing, executing the query so you can see from the uh, result window over here, okay, uh, it has about uh, two, uh, 
2155 uh, uh, orders okay from a variety of customers let me, let me click ok and click next okay, and then click finish uh, you can click the test query you will display the similar result okay, but in the tabular format oops yeah I think it's okay I think it's okay uh, this is the first time I see something like this but then it's okay so let me click finish all right yeah so uh, uh, again uh, uh, when you add something when you change something always print something but in this case yeah, always uh, display something to uh, make sure that the way you think is the same as the computer so let me uh, click the uh, uh, start without debugging button to execute uh, this web application quickly it will take a, a little bit of time to get it rendered or displayed let me see oh okay it's over here okay so you can see uh, it uh, displayed okay, all the records get okay, quickly okay, without us uh, writing without me actually uh, writing any single line of code okay, so let me close the application and let me uh, enable the uh, uh, pa paging function so let me put a check mark over there okay, so by default it will display 10 records uh, on each page each time yeah so let me uh, run the application again so there you go so you can see uh, without writing uh, a, a single line of code you can really quickly uh, join four tables and then create a very high-end uh, web application so let me close the browser again and again if you want to make it look nicer you can select the uh, auto format and pick whatever format you like okay. a colorful classic or simple okay. professional okay. so let me try uh, autumn and then click apply ok and execute the program again there you go I mean it uh, really uh, looks good yeah so let me close it in the meantime you want to see uh, all the uh, SQL command under the hood okay, created by this software then you can click the source okay, and then from the uh, data source give me a minute yeah you can see from this SQL data source control then you can uh, drag it to the right then you can see okay, how those uh, SQL command, uh, commands uh, was constructed to join four tables okay. all right okay. I hope that uh, uh, you enjoy it okay, and then uh, that will be all for uh, this application thank you